everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we are doing Small Online Business Wednesday and I'm going to be announcing May's surprise giveaway winner. Yay! I'm so excited. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we are doing Small Online Business Wednesday and I have two new businesses. Well, one is not new to me, but maybe new to you. So that's why I'm doing it today. And one that is new to me and possibly new to you. I don't know who all who you all know. So, uh, and then I have a third small business. Um, I've already shared what she sent me because it was actually a surprise um, package that she sent me and I had to open it. So I shared with it, I shared it on a live and I think only on a live. I don't think I've done it on a video yet. No, I only did it on the live and I let her know that I was going to share it on a Wednesday because she is also a small business and it was only fair. So we're gonna go through these small businesses. I'm gonna show you what I got from them. And at some point during this video, I am also going to announce May's um, surprise giveaway winner and show you what you won. So um, I am, I was really not sure if, I, I couldn't remember if the person who donated the yarn for this particular surprise giveaway um, intended for what they sent to go together um but i'm gonna do it that way because there, it wasn't clear and i want to make sure you know so anyway i think you're gonna like it and i'm i'm still trying to make sure everything's kind of sort of even between all the surprise giveaway. i know i know you guys are amazing and have told me time and time again don't worry about it you all know that i try to make it as even as possible but you know just the fact that but i still like to try to make it even so i think what they sent is going to be kind of on par with what has been already donated through since January. I just am going to have to keep up with the rest, <laughs> the rest of the year, but that's fine. So anyway, all right, let's get started here. So I'm not taking forever with you guys, but first I would like to say welcome to all of our new subscribers. And of course, welcome back to everyone else. Thank you all so incredibly much for all of your support. I really do truly appreciate all of you so, so much. Um, and I was trying to remember, oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so if you're a new, and I, I feel like, you know, like I'm a broken record, but I know it's always suggested that you make sure to let everybody know this because there are people on YouTube that don't realize these things should be done. And so they don't necessarily do it. They just go and watch videos and that's that. Uh, so I apologize for saying it again, but you never know you, this may be your very first video that you're watching and yeah. So if you're new, I would love it if you'd consider hitting the red subscribe button down below as well as notification bell next to that. Make sure you hit it to all so that you get notified anytime I upload a video. And remember, you do need, do need to be lo logged on to YouTube in order to receive notifications and have your notifications set to ex or set to on both on YouTube and on your device so that the notifications actually come through. That's something that recently was brought to my attention that some people didn't know. So that's why every so often I try to remind everybody because um, I, I know that could be something not everybody is aware of. So anyway, and if you all enjoy this content and my videos, I would love it if you consider giving my video a thumbs up as well as commenting and sharing. Thank you so incredibly much in advance. It really does mean a lot to me. So on to business, right? Because I know you guys want to know who won the surprise giveaway for me, right? <laughs> I, I know, I know that's why you're here. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I know you also enjoy meeting all these new business. Well, not meeting them, but being introduced to them. <laughs> I'll say it that way. All right, so anyway, on to, what is this? I have a note here. Oh, that was for another video. Okay, so first, um, small business is long dog yarn. Now, those of you that have been with me for a long time know that I have several or many of long dog yarns yarns. Um, I love their, I love their product. I've never been disappointed with anything I've received from them. I 
don't think any i don't think you can see any of it these four cubbies are all sin, all during my monday wednesday video since january yeah i know and they're not all up here i have some on my desk that I didn't put away. <laughs> um, but down here, these are all Shandy yarns down here from Expression Fiber Arts. These are kind of a mixture. I may have one or two maybe in there, but I have several in a couple of project bags. So anyway, I absolutely love their stuff. Um, and I figured I would go ahead and introduce them to you because they are a great I think it's a great shop. I mean, I love it. They have a website um, online, which of course I will always include that in the description box and top pin comment. So you guys can go and visit them. Um, I do not have an affiliate link or anything like that. So when you go to the link, I'm not making anything from it. It's just the link to their website. Um, they do ship interna internationally except to Germany and the UK, which kind of surprised me, but uh, so they ship everywhere except Germany and the UK. Uh, their yarns are dyed out of their home studio in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, by, wait a minute. What? Oh, you can either buy from their shop or there are some local yarn shops that carry them, which I think they have that, those stores listed on their website. Um, and they also, they also do some fiber events in the Southern U S uh, that again is something you can find on their website. If you're interested, I don't know if they're currently doing any, but they do typically, uh, do fiber events. Shop updates are typically once a month. Uh, you can also follow them in, on Instagram for announcements on that or sign up for their newsletter. They always let you know that way. Uh, all hand, let's see. Okay, all of the hand-dyed yarns um, are dyed, skeined, labeled, and packaged uh, by her. Sometimes she does collaborations with other makers on bags, progress keepers, or limited edition sets, which is kind of cool. Uh, merino is from, their merino wool is from South America and are muesling free, so that is good to know, from muesling free farms. They do have a caking service av available upon request. So if you would like the hank of yarn that, or the yarn that you purchased through them to be caked, you can let them know and they will go ahead and do that for you. They carry lace to DK weights, including slub yarns and tweeds. Um, slub yarns, I have one up here somewhere, but you probably, I can't even. Oh, nope, I don't even see it. Oh, shoot. Ow, ow, that's a slub yarn right there. But um, anyway, semi, they carry semi-solids, tonals, and speckled yarns. They have several collections available. They offer sweater quantities. So if you are looking for quantities that would make a larger project, uh, you can let them know that. And they do have the avail that available. Uh, and then, of course, they carry, not of course, but they also carry stitch markers. I think this says T's <laughs> patterns and they have gift cards available. Sorry, sometimes my handwriting, um, yeah, not so fun. <laughs> anyway, so let's see, because I totally can't remember what it is I got from them. <laughs> um, it, it's been here for a while because you all know I took two weeks off. It was shipped on April 26th, so I guess I haven't had it that that long, but it, it's been a while. <laughs> Yeah, I took two weeks off, so things have kind of piled up. I think I have enough to do the next three or four videos, I think. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. I cut into their bag. Oopsie. Anyway, this was the bag from them. Hold on, let me see what this says. It doesn't say anything. Okay. Um... Oh, I forgot. This was a Sweet Treats Mystery Yarn Club for April. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I forgot. So Sweet Treats Mystery Yarn Club. So yes, that I think that is a regular yarn club that they have. I totally forgot. I'm so excited. Okay, I haven't looked. I don't know if we can see. I think that's pink. Maybe a little bit of mint. Let's see. Yay! It's very light, not my normal colors, but let's check it out. It is, I mean, it's a sweet treat surprise. Did it say a surprise? 
mystery. So I had no idea other than the initial picture, which wasn't an inspiration picture. It just was like a box that said mystery sweet treats. So it wasn't like even an inspiration picture to like share with you or anything. But this is their logo, I think. You've got squishy mail. No, it's not, but I love it. You've got squishy mail. <laughs> squishy, squishy, it's squishy. But I absolutely, it is, this is their, this is their uh, logo. I love it. Long dog yarn. Yes, there have been very, we've, we've had fun with what it is that is being said when we've said it, long dog yarn. Anyway, <laughs> this is the yarn. It is not my typical colorways at all whatsoever, but I do think it is beautiful. Um, pastelli. Let's see. This is, that's their logo. It's their bounce sock, which is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards per hundred grams. This colorway is malted milk eggs, sweet treats, sweet treats club, April, 2021. So malted milk eggs. I totally get that from this. So anybody that knows the malted eggs, um, that we have like during Easter and stuff, uh, it's this, yeah, this, I totally get that. And then you've got the mini Hank or the mini skein right here, which it doesn't actually say anything about it. It does say hand wash finish items with light detergent and lay flat to dry. Um, I'm, I'm guessing the 463 yards is just for the hundred gram. Oh yeah. hundred grams. Hello. This is supposed to be the hundred gram Hank, the big one. This one I'm guessing is probably like 20 grams. I'm going to say maybe kind of sort of, but anyway, I think it is beautiful. It's, you know, definitely lighter and very subdued, but I totally see the malted eggs in this, especially with the, um, speckles and stuff. I think it's very pretty. I do like the gray with it. I think it goes very well. So I'm not not excited. I am excited. Believe me. I mean, any yarn I'm excited about. Hello. But as you can see, there is a common theme with the yarn. Bright and colorful and sparkly. But I do love it. I do like it. And it is soft. This is, it looks like it may be a two-ply. It doesn't say, um, but it looks like it's probably a two-ply. Both the mini and the 100 gram Hank. But it is soft. It's it's soft to the touch. It is squishy. It's yarn. I mean, how can yarn not be squishy? But it is definitely soft to the touch. And I love the speckles. I love speckled yarn. I will take speckled yarn all day long. Yes, I like it when it's bright and colorful and sparkly. But love, love, love speckled yarn, especially when the speckles are done really nicely. Because sometimes they cannot be. They can sometimes be. Yeah, they're kind of there, but they're not like obvious speckles. Because that could be sometimes you need to really get that technique down. Um, okay, so yay for that. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, I need to make sure I don't turn this page completely over because then I'm going to forget. Um, I, let me do a note really quick so I don't forget to do the... All right. Let's get on to the second shop. The second one is a is it AX Joy. I think that's what it is. Amelia X Joy. She has an Etsy shop. I will, of course, link it in the description box below as well as the top in the comment. Uh, she ships internationally from Stafford, UK. Awesome project bag. She really does have some awesome project bags. Yarn. Okay, I'm going to steal this term and I... I know Chevis with Chevy Roll stuff, and I think possibly, I can't remember if Macy also refers to them this way or not, but I'm stealing it. I will let you know, and I apologize if you are upset with me for stealing it, but I love the term. So, okay, the, she calls them, I believe, yarn cozies, but I like yarn condoms because <laughs> that's basically what they are. Uh, she also carries stitch markers, tote bags, wrist straps for the bags, which is nice. And I think a lot of them are even like the same theme as the bags. Uh, 
She's also got knitting and crochet and different size ring. Oh, for the stitch markers. Sorry, I did put an arrow there. For the stitch markers, she's got knitting, the ones that are closed um, for knitting, and then the ones that open for crochet, and different size rings and closures for the stitch markers, which I think is awesome because sometimes some people like them larger. Like I like the lever backs, like the larger ones versus the smaller lobster claw clasps when it comes for stitch markers. Uh, but you know everybody has their preferences so then everything is made by Amelia alongside her cat Frankie <laughs> I love that uh, she knits crochets English does English paper piercing patchwork and machine sewing of course because she has um, project bags and yarn condoms <laughs> um, also bags are made to be strong and if treated well will last a long time as in everything so obviously if you're really hard on your bags i mean i guess as with anything over time it it could show wear but if you take care of your stuff it's going to last longer right well it's designed to last longer uh, and she loves fabric um and sending and receiving parcels who doesn't love receiving parcels <laughs> Actually, I do like sending out stuff too because I like I like the idea of thinking about the person opening it and having a smile on their face. But I do enjoy receiving parcels too. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open this. I can't remember what is in here. It says one fabric bag. I, I so totally can't remember. This was back from April 18th is when it was shipped. I've had it for a while. Well, actually, I think it took like two weeks to get here. So I probably had it almost, a, not quite a month, maybe three weeks. No, maybe two weeks. I don't know. Whatever. So let's open this bag, which is, oops, that was my, okay, that's my uh, P.O. box. But, all right, so can we see anything in there? Oh, wait, there's a piece of paper. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, wait, here. Oh, cool. Awesome. So this is a little, um, like not quite postcard, but she left a note. She did add a bag. Oh crap. That means I have to remember what it was that I got. Okay. I got to open this first. Sorry guys. Oh, okay. All right. Nope. I know. So I want this. Oh man. I want this she she had oh she put a bag in for a give future surprise giveaway hey that's so awesome awesome you guys i think are gonna love it love it i think i think you are anyway okay let me put it away sorry i'm, I'm playing with it i apologize so anyway but she also said she has a coupon code it's i'll put it across the screen friends 10 so friends the number one the number zero and that'll give you 10% off all items in her shop. Um, and she said to feel free to use it and pass it on. So I have a 10% off coupon for you for her shop. So make sure to go check it out. And I mean, she's got like a ton of stuff, like a ton of stuff. So huh, without further ado, I have my very first two yarn condoms. Oh, this one is a single one. Okay. so. This is the first one, fried eggs. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And um, it is like a single ply. And it's just the basic inside, white. And so what you do is when you cake your yarn, you go ahead and you put it in here. And it sits in here and you center pull it. And that way it keeps the cake. First of all, there's tension or pressure on it so that it doesn't like just fall, you know, like kind of undo itself and it just keeps it nice and contained so you could just work from it and hopefully not have any issues with that so i love this one and then this one i just thought was really cute now this one is um like doubled but look at these sheep aren't they adorable and it is so i guess basically it could be reversible well no there's the seam but this is doubled so I love it. And I mean, very good quality, very good quality. I mean, the stitching is very nice. I mean, very, very nice. Look at that. 
definitely good quality. I love it. These are so cute, Amelia. I love them. Thank you so much. Both of them are just so awesome. So, I mean, this one will go for probably a smaller one, and then this one could go for a larger one. But are they not adorable? I love the fried eggs. That was just so cute. Yay! I'm so excited. Plus, she has a bag for you guys for a giveaway. <laughs> it's a project bag, not a yarn condom. Um... Well, I guess you could, uh, no, it's too big for that. <laughs> Unless you have a really big anchor yarn. Um, all right, so yay, I'm so excited. That was so awesome. So I'm hot as per usual, like so totally, 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 totally hot. Anyway, okay, enough about that. Oh man, my hair's all messed up. Why didn't you guys tell me that? Look at that, it's like parted where it normally parts. All right, so... Remember, let me know what your favorite is, whether it's what I showed you, what you see in the shop. It could be all of it. It could be none of it. It could be whatever the case is. But now I'm going to go ahead and announce May's surprise giveaway winner. So would you like to see what it is you get first and then I'll let you know what who the winner is? Okay, let's do that. So this month's surprise giveaway is was, was donated by... Um, it, the way it's um, written out is AG2N, which is a guy with two needles. Um, but it says AG2N dyed yarn. The rainbow is yours. This colorway. Now, like I said, they sent two hanks of yarn. They are both, they are two different bases, but they look like they go together. That's why I'm doing it together. Uh, because it wasn't expressly said that it's like do one for two different giveaways you know what i mean so i'm doing them together so this colorway is night bloom it's squishy sock it's 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon 462 yards to 100 grams it's fingering weight hand wash and cool water air dry um it says their retail price is 26 dollars so that is this one. Is that not beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love the purples. I love the speckling. I just love it all. It is so, so, so pretty. And um, it is soft. I mean, it's not like the softest one I've ever felt, but it's definitely soft. Um, and I just think so incredibly beautiful. I mean, it's so, so pretty, so pretty. And that, And then the other one, is the colorway is fall dreams it's a high twist merino i love high twist yarns it's 100 percent superwash merino high twist 400 yards to 100 grams it's fingering weight this one retails for 28 dollars. and look at this this one is stunning i want to keep it for myself but i can't so look at that is that not beautiful i love 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 these colors together looks so so stunning and it is a high twist. It is so beautiful. It almost looks like, but it, it doesn't, it does have, yeah, it has the feel. This is so soft. It's very similar to the high twist yarns that um, Madeline Tosh uses. I mean, her yarn, where she gets her yarns, I don't know, but they're stunning. Anyway, this is absolutely gorgeous. Again, love the speckling, love the colors. It is just so beautiful. And like I said, the purples do match in the purples in this yarn. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but they definitely go together um, or can go together. They are now this would this would actually be a beautiful fade. If you did a faded project, you would fade into this one or vice versa. Oh, that's so stunning. So I absolutely love it. Now. If you're allergic to wool, don't not enter the giveaway. Oh, I'm sorry. This is for the winner. But remember, oh, well, actually for the winner. If you're, I don't think you are. I can't remember, honestly. But if you're allergic to, allergic, really? Allergic to wool, let me know and I'll figure something else out. Okay? So don't not just respond and let me just confirm. I have your address. Like I'm 99.9% .9 sure I have your address ready. But reach out to me anyway and confirm whether you are or are not allergic to wool. But again, I don't think you are. So if you are, don't worry. I will figure something out. And remember, whenever you let me know what your favorite is on Monday and Wednesdays, don't not 
let me know what your favorite favorite is thinking you don't want to enter in case that you're going to win wool because i will always try to figure something out that would be you know comparable but not wool if you are allergic and you happen to be the winner okay so yay i hope the winner is going to like these two yarns i love them i love love them and this one especially but i love them together so i will stop keeping you waiting for the winner and i will just go ahead and announce it but i'm trying to just stall a little bit i should have probably just went to the next thing no i guess i could tell you i'm just kidding okay i'm sorry i'll stop so the winner of may's surprise giveaway is Congratulations, Christy. I'm so excited for you. Like I said, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I have your address. I did not check before doing this video, but still reach out to me and confirm whether or not you are allergic or not to wool and we will go from there. So congratulations again and thank you so incredibly much for all of your support on my videos. I know you watch them and you take part in everything and comment and stuff. You are awesome and I appreciate you so incredibly much. So yay, congratulations. So on to the last um, small business. And I know those of you that were on my live loved this. And it is something I saw a couple of people open on their channels. And I reached out to Lisa with Anais's toy box. Um, after I saw each one, not because I was hinting, hey, I want this, please send it to me, but I was genuinely letting her know how talented I think she is, because she is. I mean, she does incredible work on this, and those of you that know what I'm talking about now know what I'm talking about, and you know, and you agree with me, but I got to the post office one day, and I saw her name, and I was like, was I expecting something from her? And then I started feeling around. Yeah, I was feeling it up. So I was feeling up the bag. And I was like, hmm, those feel like legs. And I knew it was her. And I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't ask her for that. Oh, my God. I felt so guilty. I thought she thought I was implying that I was wanting one of these and asking her to send me one. And she's already said multiple times that is not what I, I, I didn't take it that way. I wanted to send you one. But I felt really bad because that's never why I reach out to makers or anything, letting them know that they are so talented. I'm genuinely meaning it and just wanting them to know that I appreciate what it is that they do. And, you know, anyway, so without further ado, it is Alisa with Anias, Anias Toy Box. And she, she ships within the U.S. and Canada for the moment but if you live outside, reach out to her and she will see what it costs and we'll go from there. So if you do live outside the U.S. and Canada, just reach out to her and she may be able to figure something out with you. Um, that's not a guarantee and I'm not saying it is, but don't not reach out to her just because you live outside the U.S. or Canada. Uh, contact her if she, to see if she's accepting custom orders. Now she does have an Etsy shop and she has a lot of patterns, but she does sometimes have finished dolls which yes mine is a doll um but oh reach out to her and ask her if she's accepting custom orders and then you can go from there and you know figure out what it is that you're looking for uh, she makes all amigurumi herself and they are kid tested by her daughter not the one she's making and putting online but she makes them for her daughter and her daughter plays with her own and tests them out thoroughly and so she you know she knows that what she's making is quality work. It really is. When you see this, oh my gosh. Uh, all dolls and stuffed animals are machine washable in mesh bags on gentle cycles. So that's good to know because you always want your children to be playing with clean stuff, right? And amigurumi patterns and finished doll. Oh yeah, she does amigurumi patterns and finished dolls and stuffed animals. That's what she has on her Etsy shop. Of course, it will be linked in the description box below as well as the top pinned comment so you have easy access to her shop. Now, oh man, I don't think I have a coupon code for I don't think we ever set anything up. No, I don't think we did. So, um, and that's fine. I, I, I just was trying to confirm with myself whether or not Oh man, I'll 
also forgot, I can't remember if I got a coupon code for, um, I don't think I did. No, I didn't. That was for something else, I think. What was I thinking of? Oh, you know what? I do, okay, I think I do have a coupon code for a guy with two needles. I apologize, Elisa, for interrupting this, but... Um, I do think I have a coupon code. If I do, I will have it in the description box and the top pin comment, but I can't remember for sure. So don't quote me on that. Uh, but anyway, so back to Elisa. She does amazing work. So this was the bag it came in. Like I said, it's already open because I've already shown a couple people what it is. So, wait a minute. Oh yeah, she did put a card in here. Oh my gosh, am I forgetting everything? I mean, seriously. Oh, yeah, she's just so sweet. She, she said she couldn't find she couldn't find one that she thought was me, but she wanted to send me one. Um, so she was hoping that I liked this one anyway. I love it. Uh, the one I had seen, was, I think the first one I saw was, I know I keep talking about Chavez, but it was her, it, the, what caught my, it was amazing. The doll was amazing, but she had garters. I was like, Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is just too cool. Um, but this doll is amazing. Uh-oh, I didn't put her jacket back on. Sorry for the crinkling. But check her out. I'm telling you. whoop -a! Look at this doll. Look at the quality. I mean, she's got her hands. I mean, her little collar, her little dress. Her little feet look at her little shoes i mean even with the laces and and yeah and she's got knees look at that she's got knees do you see her knees i'm like obsessed with her knees sorry i'm undressing her but look at her knees i mean she's got calves i mean she's got, look at this do you see the quality look at her eyes i mean this is incredible and this is doll hair i went crazy and was thinking it was human hair because it really feels like human hair I have one of like only like two or three dolls that she's ever made that has the real doll hair or has the doll hair because I guess it's a very big pain to work with. I have one. Yay! Mine is even super special. <laughs> but anyway, look at her hair. It's so long. I could just sit here and brush it. Anyway, she has a little jacket. Look at that with the little buttons. I mean, the quality of this is just incredible. Hold on. It's been sitting in the bag. I apologize. That's my bad. But look at the quality of this jacket. She was wearing it closed and then I opened it and then I took it off. She was hot. <laughs> She's my doll after all. Um, but look, I mean, just check out this quality. I'm telling you, I, this is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I would love to know what you guys think of her dress. I mean, look at her dress. It's just, just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Elisa, again, you do amazing work. I'm telling you. I mean, her little eyelashes, everything. I mean, the attention to detail is just, oh, just amazing. Just amazing. I mean, I I give huge kudos to anybody that makes amigurumi. I mean, seriously, mine, um, nope, I don't do it. That it doesn't even remotely look what look like whatever it is that it was supposed to be. Don't do it. So sorry. But this little jacket is just, just amazing. Amazing. Anyway, Elisa, again, thank you. Thank you so much. I absolutely love her. But I think you kind of got that gist when I opened her originally. <laughs> she happened to be on the, on, the, on the live, which I was so happy about. I'm so warm. I'm so warm. It's not funny. Anyway, um, so... I hope you guys enjoyed everything. I can't wait to hear what it is that you liked, whether it was what I showed you or what you found on the websites or the Etsy shops or whatever. And um, just let me know what you think of everything. I, I greatly appreciate it. And remember, of course, like I just said, let me know what your favorite is. And yes, and congratulations again, Christy, for being my May surprise um, surprise giveaway winner i'm so excited for you i hope you like the yarn and that you're not allergic to wool but i think you're not but i don't remember so i'm not even gonna not whatever i'm just i'm stopping there so i hope you guys have a great day i hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed everything i shared with you and um yeah 
I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next getting to know you episode and I am 99% sure there will be a subscriber of the week from like three weeks ago on the last getting to know you I'm almost positive people entered for it but I can't remember 100% I know I didn't do my homework I apologize so have a great day um Miley says hi and bye to her peeps I can't remember if she walked in and out a couple times during this video or not because she does it every so often so but she does say hi and bye my mom of course as always says hello to everybody thank you all for your thoughts and prayers for all of us we all appreciate it very very much uh, remember for every season there's a reason to crochet love hugs and prayers to everybody extra prayers for those who need it and remember, if you want to be added to my Christmas card list, if you're not already on it, feel free to email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. I will add you to it. And yeah, I think that's it. So have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.